the first question we should ask ourselves is what are they paying these bandits for? Or let's say when the bandits came to them, how did they present themselves to them? Did they present themselves as the owners of that land? Yes, because when you come to a place like this to exploit mineral, mineral resources, we all know that you have to settle the inhabitants of that community. So the first question is, did they come to them as the youths of that community? Or they came to them presenting themselves actually as bandits? You see? But if it is the other way around, if it is the other way around, let's say they came to them and then the Chinese having knowledge of the fact that these guys are bandits and then they came to them. It's an act that is condemnable. You cannot come to a country where you know that, in fact, you also need security to prosecute your business in the country. And then you're also sponsoring a security. It is something that will be highly condemned, highly condemned. And the government of Nigeria has to take responsibility for that. They have to call them to questioning if, of course, if they have breached the laws of the land, they should also go for it. They should also charge them. Because we've seen a situation where even the Chinese that are mining, we have handled cases where Chinese people come into the country, they apply for quarry lease, quarry mining licenses, and then after the expiration, they still continue to mine. In cases like that, I've seen where Nigerians have taken them to court, charged them to court for criminal, you know, criminal trespass and what have you. So if... Like I said, if I want to start from the beginning, if the question is this youth came to them, presenting themselves as the youths or the inhabitants of that area, I mean, there's nothing wrong giving them money, but if they have knowledge that these guys are actually bandits. This is not a new story concerning Safara. Um, if many people may not know, but Safara people, they know. Former governor, all of them know. That's how I wonder if foreigners will be in charge what belongs to citizens. When the citizens cannot even enjoy. That's a problem issue. It's always giving issue. Even I was looking at what happened. Mr. President has the power to summon the governor. That is why we, we need to practice federalism to Stalin. Let governor go to their states and search for their revenue. You forget allocation. This governor, they are so lazy, they don't want to work. Because I wonder, this is alone. Do you know how many sources are taken away? And which citizens are not even benefit? If you go to that place, economic will supposed to improve. You go down. What about the infrastructure? Zero. What about the eight wives? Zero. Many, many, even education? Zero. What the essence of saying are from Safara? When the Chinese will take the citizen to the police station and they will lock and they will free Chinese. Who does that? So, this issue is not a new. For me, the governors of Safara, they will not say they don't know of this thing. Go and ask past governor. And go and have your federal rep and their senator. They know because they have their commission they collect. Click back. So it's right for the citizen and the government himself to bless it. Let each state be in charge of their resources. Simple as a BC. So that <coughs> sorry, the flag government will be free. And the citizens of that state, they will enjoy, they will not be able to go out. Do you know how many? What cash they can get from that place? So that is it. Let the federal government, let us practice pure federalism, let each governor be in charge of their resources. And if there's only a percentage they bring to the federal government, simple. Every business, every business in Nigeria is regulated by Nigeria, is regulated by the Nigerian government. Every business. We understand that Nigeria is a liberal economy, but even at that, the government also have control. So if expatriates or foreign nationals come to Nigeria to carry out businesses, of course, the government still regulates them. They regulate their activities. They can't just come like that without licenses. So it all boils down to, 
after they have paid their legal fees to the government, after they've paid all the dues, all they have to pay, the levies, the taxes, because of course, for you to mine, there are, there are procedures you have to follow. You have to pay your mining list, you have to pay taxes, you have to pay royalties to that community. So I wouldn't know if what the people are interpreting that they are giving money to buy, I wouldn't know if it is actually royalties they pay to the community or taxes. I won't, of course, of course. I, I mean, to me, it's, it's a wake up call to, to the Nigerian government. It's a wake up call to the Nigerian government. It's a wake up call. The Nigerian government has to stand up to responsibility and intensify security. It should not just be left to the hands of the state government because a lot of things are happening. So they should intensify security. Federal government should intensify security. Ensure that everybody supporting or sponsoring terrorism in this country is brought to book. Even if it is a governor, whoever the person might be. This is very an important information, if I can say, that came to the public. And uh, before I go to my, to say one or two things, I would like to state it so clear that the government, just like we have been, uh, just like the people divide democracy. So the government of the people, by the people and for the people. So if our leader of our government, in, in government per se, are ready to defend the nation, for this is a the high time for them to stand up. Now concerning the issue of uh, bandage over there in the north, the northwest and so on, it's so clear that beyond reasonable doubt, they bring the Chinese, they have a, a clear hand, a clean hand. Yeah, because their hand is written on the wall, you cannot deny it. Because bandit will go, just like about three or four, like let me four, uh, three days ago, what happened in Kaduna, the south of Kaduna, our people were, were killed. And before then, during the recent one that happened in, in Benway, but let me just be focused in the north. That is to say, they, now we have a natural resources there in the, in the Zamfara, to be precise. So the Chinese government have come to take advantage. And I also want to say that most of this bandit might not be Nigeria per se. But because of, if I say other things, I may look as if I'm talking about religious matter. You understand? Because they take the advantage of the religious member. And, and, and invaded the, the city, invaded the people. And because of what uh, we, 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 how would I put it? I don't want to bring out an insult word, but the truth of the story is that the religious has made some people so myopic that they now take advantage of them.